doing my best not to look at the time too much. And my laptop time hasn't updated to New York time. It keeps reminding me that it's currently 4, 4.15 LA time, um, as opposed to the 7.15 that it is here. This avocado toast looks pretty tasty. Um, the meeting that I'm in New York for is today, which is exciting. Um, it's been pretty much what myself and my team has been preparing for the whole two weeks leading um, since I started this new rock. I'm just going over the presentation on my laptop now. It's like last minute, you know, tweaks and so, you know, I'll, uh, I'll hand over the feedback in LA from here once she wakes up and, uh, and leave you in a more than capable hands for the day. Morning team, about 7 a.m. Um, oh, oh, good. Great sleep last night. I was very tired. I asked her if she could show me how she can scoot for the vlog. She was like, no. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So this morning we're going somewhere kind of exciting and very different for us. Park. Well, we're not going to the park. We're going something kind of like the park park where you can play. But back when we were looking at this neighborhood, or well, this area, and when I was looking, I was looking at big parks and things in the area, and nearby it is a like nursery school, outdoor, preschool type thing, but it's actually kind of similar, I think, to a very New Zealand, maybe Australian model. Yeah, of play centre where parents go along with the children. Um, so it's like, it's either free or it's cheaper. And so it's like a cooperative nursery. So everyone pitches in. So it's something we're gonna look at. I don't really know anything about it. But that's what we're gonna go do this morning. Oh my lord, needs McGee today. Portia's feeling very delicate. There was something outside last night and it was like midnight and I was about to go to bed and he decided he needed to go out for an another wee. And he was like sniffing around something by our back gate. I don't believe it was a cat. It looked smaller, so possibly a rat. And he almost got under our back gate and ran away to find it. Which as you can imagine at midnight, running around in our backyard in my pajamas and bare feet was a pretty interesting situation but I have to say I feel very safe in this house. I, I feel very comfortable here. I had no point last night in which I didn't feel safe or okay being alone which can be really weird like I know that I'm an, an adult. Even as an adult there are times when if you're alone by yourself at night in a strange place there are times where as, as an adult where you can still feel um, very uncertain and unsafe and, and strange in a place and literally to have one night here with Nathan have him go away I was a little worried not that I it would be unsafe but that I would just be nervous and it's been totally fine very comfortable and good in this house oh, this is what I'm dealing with right now all right Luna do you want to go to the play center okay I'm running super late oh star wagon I'm filming something over here there's like 10 trailers. Um, I'm gonna go now, I might film some stuff when I'm in there. Um, we're definitely running late. <laughs> okay. Luna keeps saying park. It's a hard one to explain. It's not really a park, but it's a place you can play. <laughs> I really couldn't film much in there at all. There's obviously a lot of other children around, so it's difficult. I'll explain more on the car. It was very cool. Very, very cool. Luna literally, I walked in there and was talking to one of the parents, teachers, directors. I'm not really, I think she's on the board. She's a board member, but is also a parent. Um, and she's like, oh yeah, Luna, let Luna go play. And then Luna was like, bye. Did you have so much fun there? 
That was so cool, hey? It's like most of it's outside and they have these little sheds that they open up and one's like got books in it and certain toys and blah blah. But like 99% of what they do is outside. At this age, they don't need to go sit in the classroom and learn how to write their name. It's just learning how to function as a person around other people and play and be self-sufficient and work as a team and it's really really cool. I'm gonna apply to get Luna on the waitlist because everything has waitlists here and she can't go now anyway because she has to be potty trained to go there. They need a special licenses apparently for the whole like diapering part of that situation but once they're potty trained they're fine so it's from like two and a half to, to five ish four probably but once they go to school sometimes they end up older whatever but what they do have and something that we've already just signed up for I already paid some monies is uh, every Tuesday morning for an hour there's a special toddler group for the children that are younger um, parents stay for it but it's I'm, I just did four weeks worth it was like really cheap it was like it was like $85 for us to go for to these four classes but it, it integrates her into the school a little bit more I get to meet some other parents she meets to play with other kids her age and by going to this she actually kind of gets preference and bumped up if we do decide to go to the next part of the school the bigger one and being a cooperative we go to the school it's from like 9 till 12 um, five days a week and I have to be there for one of them and that's like a teaching day and then that way I also get to I'm in charge of something that the children do um, there's parents that teach yoga there's parents that do animal stuff it's really affordable but it is, it is more of a part-time care for still stay-at-home parents who are kind of part of it so depending on whether I go back to work or at what sort of capacity I go back to work and this is kind of flexible maybe that this is something that we do on the days that I don't work and I go work a few days a week yeah you think so but it was really nice and it was really nice to meet the woman and you know this isn't our neighborhood but it's very close this is like a 10 minute drive and it was really perfect she said there's one spot for this toddler class tomorrow and they were ideally hoping to get a girl because there's a lot of boys in it so she's like, it's yours if you just want to come. And I was like, shut up and take my money. It was really nice. It was really good. But Luna needs some manky, manky clothes because it's a lot of dirt outside. Did you take a little nap, my love? Yeah. Are you pretty sleepy? Yeah. It's a, it was a 10 minute drive and she just peaced out the second we started driving. We must have been there for like... 20 minutes. Imagine how pooped she's going to be after like her first morning. See you in the course. Oh, oh couples at the oh. same <laughs> So something that I want to get done, this bar, this Pot, plant, pot, 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 pot. I don't know if you can see. So it's cracked all the way down here and then down here. But this bit is completely, this bit's like wedged in. So I have to figure out a way. I think I just have to, this is gonna be painful, but I think it's just, I think, I think I just gotta break it. Did it. I think this might be all right if I glue it it's cracked to there. So the only way to fix it properly would be to completely split it in half. So I think I'm just gonna glue around the back and then stick this piece back in and then we can still use it. I've just put Luna down for a nap. You know they really need a nap when they start getting like extra irrational. And Luna said she didn't want it any more of her lunch and she was finished so we had to take it away. And then she said, no, I want it. And then threw the plate on the floor with the rest of the food. So she's gone to bed. It is 12.04. I've probably got a solid two hours. She was up pretty early. She went to bed pretty late. She was very tired yesterday. I'm going to pot, plant, pot my cuttings. Let's get potting. <laughs>
the squirrel doesn't live in the palm tree because if he does that's going to be difficult to get in and out all the time but it looks like all he really needed was just oh god he's on the fence leave it maybe this is who we saw last night good evening team i'm now dyeing my hair i'm wrapped in down <laughs> oddly cold it's not like cold cold it's probably still like 20 degrees uh kitchen's not looking super great but it's getting there living room dining room was looking better we're watching cars for a little bit now while my hair dye soaks in and then shower soon i'm gonna go have a shower brush my hair out try and get stuck into another vlog vlogs are all over the place at the moment everything's a bit of a mess <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Why are your pants down? <laughs> Do you want to say goodbye to the vlog? 